Hey there, I'm Christopher Thorne from Blind Melon, and I wanted to thank Vintage Guitar Magazine and Greg Prado for putting me in this issue. Thank you, thank you. Super proud of that. Uh, this is a J30. Um, I believe it's a 1990. And uh, I wrote most of the early Blind Melon songs on this, including the song Soup, tuned to open E. Goes something like this. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Super proud to be in this magazine. Hey, I'm Christopher Thorne from Blind Melon. I want to thank Vintage Guitar Magazine and Greg Prado for putting me in the latest issue. Check out the rainbow. Incredible, right? Here's Fireside Sound. I'm going to give you a little tour. There's my rainbow. <laughs> uh, here's the outside. We have 35 acres here. So as far as you can see that way, is most of our stuff. All right, here, check out the inside. Here's my 1973 vintage API I've had since uh, probably 1992 or so, 93 maybe. Um, a drum set, thanks to uh, a bunch of drummer friends that I have that have <laughs> given me some uh, drum stuff. Uh, Glenn Graham and Patrick Keeler and uh, who else? Isaac Carpenter, thank you guys for the drum set. Here's some of the guitars that are in the magazine. A couple of my favorites. This one right here, I've probably written most of the songs post Blind Melon on this one right here, 1954 Martin. A little bedroom back here. Sleeping quarters, 
with a lovely view. All right, let's go check out the bathroom. Oh, here we go. Here's my Supro, which gets used more than any other amp. This thing for the last 30 years has been on most every recording, I would say. Um, here we go. Check out the bathroom. Some more amps over here, some more vintage amps. Here's my original rig. Uh, back in the Blind Melon days, this was my touring rig, the band 1967 Bandmaster with the 212 cabinet. Use that for pretty much all of the Blind Melon touring years. Got a little rainbow right there, too. Look at that. <laughs> Fireside Sound bathroom over here with the best view. What else can I show you? Check out the outside one more time. Oh yeah. Oh, the rainbow's still there. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Vintage Guitar Magazine. I really appreciate it. I'm super proud to be in your magazine. And thanks to Greg Prado as well. All right, see y'all. Bye-bye.